Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Right, welcome to another kit review. We've got the Bedford uh, QLD General Service Lobby. Uh, now, this one is actually being bought uh, for a project, my project. Now, it's uh, by IVG Models, per normal, my favourite company, 135th scale. Uh, as with IVG, not a great deal on the outside of the box, just the uh, uh, join on the front, which I don't know, I just like these drawings for some, old, some reason. Just remind me of the old kits, going back to the days when I was a lad. But there you go. Right, we'll get straight into it. Now, this is one of their earlier kits, so there's not a great deal in it. Right, workshop manual, which we'll have a look at at the moment. And we have two packets of screws. With two in each, so four screws all together. Uh, a very nice uh, top, with nice detail on it, and we'll have a look at that in a minute. One screw of clear parts, and we have the get it right, right way up. Uh, some decals, decals, transfers, or stickers. Right, we'll have a look at the workshop manual first. Normal uh, IBG booklet, which I do like. Uh, uh, sprue map on the front for your clear parts. It's done in a, a light grey to show you the bits that you're not going to be using on this kit. Uh, first two pages have uh, got the two of the sprue maps on, nice and large. And the second two pages, we've got uh, the other sprues and the uh, back cover of this vehicle, otherwise, we will call it then there for the night. <coughs> Excuse me, I need a little bit closer as I'm a little bit far away. All right, uh, wheels, radiator, back tow hitch, and the roof. Uh, IBG I always do it in little little subsections which I like some people don't some people do uh, we get we're going to the engine it's a nicely little detailed engine I've done a couple of these oh, yeah I've done a couple of these now with and they are really nice you don't normally get any bit issues with them uh, the cab the seats in the only one thing I will say is when you're actually assembling the the cab is to just be aware of each corner because I put one together and it all pulled out in the corner. It weren't the kit's fault, it was my fault because I wasn't watching what I was doing. And uh, if you do it the way they show you on the instructions, do one side first and then go to the other side, it works properly. So the instructions are correct. Uh, you got a choice of tops here. You got either got one with the uh, gun port hole in it or a smooth one. Cab all together, putting the, the smaller bits and pieces on, which I recommend you do that uh, just before you spray because you do. I got a tendency of knocking them off. Uh, I think that's the front axle, back axle. The only thing I should uh, actually point out is when you're cutting off with the sprues, if you just go a little bit too close, it does leave a little hole in the transmission, well, not in the gearbox. It's not a gearbox, is it? 
differential differential box isn't it yeah and you can leave a little hole which you have to fill so if, you, if you're doing it just be a little bit careful uh, this is for the spare wheel and the petrol tank onto the chassis the chassis are, uh, are quite nice to put together there's no sort of like big issues over them they're very well detailed I do like them and then it's just mainly assembling uh, I was about to say something then but then it's gone, must have been a lie uh, front axle going on the drive shafts engine and then they, we run on to the uh, back deck mud guards uh, you've got an option here you can have this as just a open frame or you can have it as a closed top but we'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute then like I say as you've got the cab and the rear assembled separately then you just put it all together and I had a little tiny bit of a fit issue when I went to bring the cab in but a sanding stick and a little well actually I used a little round file just to take a corner off and there was no no big you know no big dramas over it just showing you here what it looks like without I prefer it without the actual cover I just think it looks better but that's my personal uh, opinion or with the back cover on just some uh, markings up uh, I can't read what because it's in Polish I'm sorry I don't read Polish but uh, they're giving you the I think that's a Russian one by the look of it that's quite interesting. The Russian Bedford. Uh, I'd say that's one's going to be the British and one's going to be the Americans, but I don't think the Americans used much of our equipment because they bought all their own. Anyway, that's the workshop manual. I shall drop the camera down and undo these bags and uh, we'll have a look at the parts. Alright, the first sprue. I'm going to do it nice and close so you can see what's uh, going on with all the parts because they're normally extremely good. I've got the uh, rocker cover there, uh, parts of the axle. And this is all good plastic because it will cut off using your sprue cutters and they don't break and snap like uh, some of them do. But they're all extremely clean, there's no flash on these at all. And for the price of the kit, they're very well detailed. I find that they're very competitive, this company are. And you're getting good value, I think, good value for money anyway. Uh, the leaf springs, they're all nicely done. There is injector mark pins, but uh, they're pretty good there inside where you don't see, see them. Not in the middle of something, but all the parts are nice and clean. Not going to your brake at a uh, handbrake, but, but like I say, they're all nice and clean. There's nothing really to sort of like I know there's nothing really to actually say bad about them. Actually, uh, the wheels are in two parts. Now, I've put quite a few of these together, they do go together nice. The seam line comes off very easily with a file, just, just run around the center. Uh, I have even got the logo, the Avon logo on it. Uh, I don't think it was Avon, but I think they're doing that just to uh, get over paying somebody some money. But they're, they're all nice. Everything is nice and clean. 
all the small parts are nicely well de detailed. Your hubs, this is your engine block here, uh, front radiator. Uh, this is the uh, petrol tank, uh, petrol or diesel tank. I can't remember what these are. Nice little steering wheel, nice big bits for dashboard. Uh, that's your chassis. All nicely, all nice and clean. Everything is nice and clean. And like I say, I, I didn't have no fit issues. I did the Bedford uh, gun tractor, uh, which I'm still working on. Like I say, any fit issues were caused by me, not by the actual kit. And if you're following me on this channel, this particular kit is going to be converted into a half track. So if that's what you're interested in, pop over, well, come in and have, have a look when I, when I start this. Right, it's like I say, there's nothing there to really to report, except for just nice clean parts, which uh, I'm always happy about. Right, we start with the back deck. These are all your little uh, tubes to make the back racking with the take to canvas uh, and like I say if you get a nice pair of sh sharp screw cutters or side cutters you can cut these and they don't fracture you watch that I'll, I'll be doing it ne next time it will but uh, like I say even on these real thin parts there's no flash that would be nice nice clean up Turn it over. This is the back half of the uh, fully canvas back, which is all nicely detailed. It's it's, it's uh, with a few washes, and that will turn out rather nice. It seems a shame I won't get to 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 actually do it, but there again, might even you might even put it together for somebody to do. Uh, this is the last screw because there's only four. Uh, into one of the uh, back rails, which is nicely done. Uh, I think there's some type of boxes that go underneath the underneath the chassis or underneath the, the main deck. There's another tailgate there by the look of it. There's two types of tail. Well, I suppose yeah, because if you can have it with the uh, canvas top on and if you can have it then with the canvas off you've got to have another tailgate haven't you so, all nicely detailed all nicely done no complaints at all and uh, some of you will be quite pleased to see there's not so many little tiny bits Uh, it wouldn't be uh, too much of an issue building it. Right, that's all the screws done. I'm hoping I can get this underneath there. I might have to alter the focus a little bit because I have put it on a fixed focus. Right, let's just change that just a tad. But that has got some really nice detail on it, look. Really has got some like, all the hooks for tying down. It's even got the pulls in the canvas, so you could make quite a nice uh, job of that. Let's turn it over. Yeah, I reckon with some wash and a bit of uh, tying, you could really make that look nice. Even I could make it look nice. Inside. Not too much to uh, look at, as it's just the inside, and you won't see it anyway. <coughs> and that's the top. Clear screw. I won't take one out of the plastic. 
because we can say they're all clear. <laughs> and the decals, decals, transfers, or stickers, whichever one you would like to call them. Uh, we've got most of them there. And to be honest with you, I don't really know what these are like because I haven't actually got around to doing my uh, decals, decals, transfer stickers, whatever, you know, I haven't got to do mine, so I couldn't really tell you what these are actually like, but uh, I'll, that will come in uh, future reviews, I'll find out so I can let you know. Right, that is it for that particular kit. Uh, thank you very much for stopping in and having a look. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.